Okay, so welcome to Math Storia and let's have this problem. So finding the mean or expected value of a random variable, then we have this given random variable and to find the mean, so we're going to use a table form. Then for this column, so we just need to multiply these two columns. So we have x times the p of x. Then to find the values, so 3 times 0 0.1, that's 0 0.3. Then 4 times 0 0.5, so we have 4 times 0 0.5, that's 2. Then this 12 times 0 0.2, so 12 times 0 0.2, that's 2.4. And 20 times 0 0.2, so 20 times 0 0.2, that's equal to 4. Then to find the summation of x times the p of x, so we just need to add all these numbers. So we have 0 0.3 plus 2 plus 2.4 plus 4 equals so the summation of x times the p of x is equal to 8.7 so therefore the mean or the expected value is 8.7 then for this given so first we need to convert this percent to decimal so 50 percent in decimal that's 0 0.50 or 0 0.5 this 12% is 0 0.12 and 38% that's 0 0.38. Then put this one in a table form and to solve for this column, so multiply this S times the P of S. Then to find the values, so we have 5 times 0 0.50. So 5 times 0 0.50, that's 2.5. Then this 10 times 0 0.12, so 10 times 0 0.12, that's 1.2. And this 12 times 0 0.38, so 12 times 0 0.38, that's 4.56. Then to find the summation of S times the P of S, so add all these numbers. So we have 2.5 plus 1.2 plus 4.56 equals, so the mean is 8.26. So the mean or the expected value is 8.26. Then for the last one, so again, we need to put this one in a table form. And for this column, so multiply these two columns, so that's x times the p of x. Then when multiplying fractions, we just need to multiply the numerators and the denominators. So if we have 1 over 12 times 1 over 2, so multiply these numerators, that's 1, over, multiply these denominators, that's 24. So therefore, this 1 over 12 times 1 over 2 is 1 over 24. Then 1 over 6 times 1 over 10. So 6 times 10, that's 60. So 1 over 60. And 1 over 3 times 1 over 5. So 3 times 5, that's 15. So this one is 1 over 15. And 1 over 2 times 1 over 5. So 2 times 5, that's 10. So this one is 1 over 10. Then to find the summation of x times the p of x, so we need to convert this one first to decimal. So if we have 1 over 24, so 1 divided by 24, that's 0 0.417. And this 1 over 60, so 1 divided by 60, that's 0 0.0167 and this 1 over 15 so 1 divided by 15 
that's 0 0.0667 and the last one 1 over 10 so 1 divided by 10 that's 0 0.1 and to solve now for the summation of x times the p of x so we just need to add all these numbers so we have 0 0.0417 plus 0 0.0167 plus 0 0.0667 plus 0 0.1 equals so that's 0 0.2251 so therefore the mean or the expected value is 0 0.2251